Tracy, and Susie and I are here today at Shoal Creek, and we're here with Corey, and he's going to tell us about the Old Fashioned. It's a smoked Old Fashioned, and it's their signature drink, and we're going to let Corey take it away. I uh, just want to tell you a little bit of our uh, smoked Old Fashioned, one of our most popular drinks here. Um, so we actually use our Basil Hayden's bourbon with some house-made bitters, and then a vanilla infused Demerara reduction. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do when we start making this cocktail is we're going to infuse both the glass and our mixing pitcher with cherry wood smoke. So lay down some piles of wood chips. And of course, every bartender's dream, we get a giant blue torch behind the bar. Because <laughs> who doesn't want to play with fire all day? So we'll light one of those and it'll actually extinguish the flame and you'll see the glass coat with smoke. Do both of those. And after it sits for just a minute, it smells like a campfire. It's wonderful. Everybody loves it. So, so who we're gonna, came up with this drink, Corey? Uh, well, the drink's been around for a long time, but essentially Burke's Grill and Tavern and Shoal Creek Tavern are the ones who kind of brought to this area and decided to go ahead and start doing it on a, a larger scale basis. So we start off with some house-made bitters. Uh, this is going to add a little bit of mellowness to the cocktail. So it's going to cut that real harsh bourbon burn that you get from a lot of those. And then we're going to add a little bit of the Basil Hayden bourbon. Good stuff. And then one thing that we do a little bit different that a lot of bars don't is we make our own syrups in house. So this is a vanilla infused demerara reduction. We take demerara sugar, pure cane sugar, and we mix it with vanilla bean and actually reduce it into a syrup over about 45 minutes so it absorbs all the flavor. And that's going to give you nice vanilla notes that pair with the barrel notes in the Basil Hayden's bourbon. Uh, so after doing all that, we're going to take some of our large ice cubes. And this is both going to chill the drink down and provide dilution. So you're actually adding water to it, which is going to make it go down a little bit smoother. It's also going to open up the bourbon and bring out some of those other notes. That so after we pulled down the, uh, the bourbon on the cocktail, we're going to use, or rather, add ice to the drink itself. Just pour that right on top. And last step is we're actually going to take pressure orange peel. Because um, one bit of fire is not enough for one cocktail, right? <laughs> And what's that do? Uh, so we're actually bringing the oil to the top of the peel right now. Okay. And then we're going to express that oil over the top of the drink. So when you go in to smell it, you can get a nice nose of that orange. Then you rim the glass. Sit that right on top. Do you do the smoke old bed? Wow, Stacy and I really enjoyed that. That was really impressive to watch you make that drink, Corey, and it was really quite tasty as well. To check out this cocktail or any other of their specialty cocktails, please go see Corey. He's the bar manager and he's very knowledgeable at what he does. Until next time. <laughs>